So there are plenty of ways for you to earn XP within Diablo 4 that loot everything you need and today guys I bring you what in my opinion are the best methods in doing so. How's it going guys my name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe. Okay so we have dungeons we know about dungeons no doubt about that I will mention them towards the end of the video but I'm going to start with places you can farm infinite amounts of xp probably as much if not more than what you can earn in dungeons but again there are other options and let's explore them okay so firstly guys i want to talk about this pvp area right down here now if you come here guys it is absolutely ram packed full of packs of elites i mean yes i know they nerfed dungeons they took elites out of dungeons i actually think they took elites out of dungeons and placed them right down here because if you do a circle of this area you are gonna come across at least six or seven groups of elites tons and tons of enemies it is a crazy crazy area to farm yes it is a pvp area but for the most part most people down here are doing the same thing and trying to earn those seeds or that xp yes sometimes you will get the one pillock uh, who just wants to fight you and kill you but it doesn't really matter either way because if they do kill you yes you may you lose those seeds but you keep your xp you won't actually gain any uh, durability loss on your armor as long as you ain't getting hit by normal enemies at the same time as being killed by someone in pvp so it doesn't really matter so it's definitely worth your time coming down to this area right here on the map guys running around doing rotations of this area and just killing those groups of enemies because you earn a ton of that xp now what i will say is if it does seem like those elites ain't respawning really it's probably because there's a straggler left you need to take out but once you do take out all the ads they spawn more or less instantly so yes it's a great great farm you should definitely take advantage of and you also earn tons of loot at the same time so it is a win-win so yes take advantage of this while you can okay so next up people we have the infinite event exploit now this is pretty crazy and it's still in the game but either way as you can see here guys left hand side of the map within that dry steps area this area right here guys is nine times out of ten home to an ongoing event which will reward you a chest so if you simply come to this spot people i mean it's, it is this simple you probably won't believe it if you don't know this is the actual thing so come to this spot guys complete the event open that chest get that loot get those obols earn tons of xp via killing the enemies to complete this event then simply guys fast travel back to your nearest town upon you doing this simply fast travel back you'll end up right here right where that event just finished and nine times out of ten another event will be here another event will have started it is absolutely crazy now if there is that instance where you do teleport back and there isn't an event here simply teleport back to town and come back you can wait between five or ten seconds between teleporting but that really isn't necessary it's just a precaution but yes guys this is absolutely unreal again you get infinite chests because you could you do an infinite event so that's all balls you can spend um it's loot you can sell grind down for that materials it's xp because there's quite a few enemies here there's elites that spawn here as well so it is a great great rotation of earning tons and tons of what you need to progress within diablo 4. Now another spot you can take advantage of, the only problem with this is it isn't here 24-7. But it is the Helltide event. Now the Helltide events are absolutely unreal for XP. They're probably the best you're going to get for loot because you can just basically farm cinders and earn those chests. Especially those mystery chests which reward you multiple legendaries. But yes, the Helltide events are insane for XP guys. So if you're unsure still, if you're new to Diablo and you're unsure what the Helltide events are, so once you get to a world tier 3, you'll start seeing, once you progress a little bit through a world tier 3, I can't remember exactly, it could just be an instant thing on world tier 3 or 4, I can't remember. Either way, you'll start seeing your map is clouded over in that red fog. Within this area, guys, when this event starts, you have one hour to kill as many enemies as you want, accumulate cinders, and open chests that will appear on your map. But there are also, guys, mystery chests. Now, these mystery chests give you increased chances of multiple legendaries. They require 175 cinders. And if you want to know the locations of these, because these won't appear on your map until you're right next to them, check out the howtides.com website. I'll link down below in the video description. This is a live 
updated website so as soon as that event is on it will tell you exactly where these chests are and because they reset every 20 minutes it tells you if they change too but yeah the how to hide event is full of enemies full of big hitting enemies full of grouped up elites i mean it's unreal definitely 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 guys take advantage of the how to hide events when they are under multiple spots you can farm as well and the same instance of how we just did the event farm that semi works here too. I mean, if you are near an event within the Howtide area and there is a dungeon or a cellar right near that event, simply clear out the Howtide event, guys. Then go to that cellar, go inside of it or go to that dungeon, go inside of it, then come back out. I'd probably say seven out of 10 times the event will be here or you can teleport to your nearest town then teleport back again there's a big chance that event will be ongoing for you to earn even more xp cinders and that loot but yes the how tide is an event i don't really see many many people talking about or taking advantage of but the amount of xp you will earn for doing this within that one hour i'm pretty sure guys there aren't many dungeons that can match this so yes when you see the how tide event on your map definitely head there and take advantage of it okay so lastly guys we do have the dungeon farms now dungeons are probably the epitome of farming in this game of xp earning and those legendary loot grinding because it's basically what everyone's doing now and the better the dungeon the more xp and loot you will get the problem is blizzard spotted this straight away and started nerfing these dungeons from real early on as soon as people started earning that xp that great loot leveling up super super fast blizzard didn't like this but guys, there's still some dungeons in this game you can definitely take advantage of and earn crazy amounts of XP. Whether you're playing solo or in a group, it's unbelievable. So I'm going to give you guys five of my favorite dungeons in the game to farm, both solo or in a group. These can be farmed either on a standard dungeon, but obviously that nightmare dungeon with the enemy being three levels above you is the most efficient way of earning XP. Now if you do not know how to farm nightmare dungeons, it's relatively quite straightforward. So you need to get yourself a sigil, a nightmare sigil, which will make said nightmare dungeon three levels above you. It's then a matter of being patient or being extremely lucky. Also landing that said nightmare sigil for your, your favorite dungeon. But either or, if you have a nightmare sigil for a dungeon you know you can farm, it's at the correct level where enemies will be over three levels above you. Uh, this is how you farm said nightmare dungeon. So you want to activate that sigil from your inventory. So activate that said nightmare dungeon. Then guys, you want to go up to that nightmare dungeon and step inside of it. Once you're inside of it, come out of the nightmare dungeon. Then guys, you want to head to any other dungeon on the map. It doesn't matter what dungeon it is. You simply want to go to that dungeon, go inside of that dungeon. Now, once you're inside of this dungeon, guys, you want to do the first objective. Now, yes, I know people will be saying in the comment section, you don't have to do the first objective. You don't even have to kill an enemy. I've seen these. I've tried this method. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. For me, doing the first objective in a standard dungeon is always going to work so this is what i suggest people doing then guys head back to that nightmare dungeon simple as that so once you're at that nightmare dungeon you are now free to farm this over and over and the way you do this is guys and there's one rule to this you cannot fully complete the nightmare dungeon so if there's a boss at the end of this do not kill that boss if there's an objective you have to complete do not complete the objective if the objective is slay all enemies obviously do not slay all enemies but once you've progressed and farmed up to this point you simply guys then leave the dungeon via pressing up on your d-pad and using the left shoulder exit dungeon method or going to your map and x in the dungeon then guys you simply re-enter the dungeon everything will have reset and you can farm this nightmare dungeon over and over and over again using this method now what I will say is I don't think that works in a party so that's a solo method. Now to farm normal dungeons as a solo player specifically it's relatively quite easy also. So with this what you want to do is is start up any nightmare dungeon so activate any nightmare sigil in your inventory. Go to said nightmare dungeon enter that nightmare dungeon go inside of it guys and kill any enemy it works perfectly this way around but when you're trying to farm nightmare dungeons i couldn't get it down consistently so go ahead and kill any enemy within the nightmare dungeon 
If you try this and it doesn't work for you, simply clear out the first objective in this nightmare dungeon. Once you are done guys, exit the nightmare dungeon. From here you can go to any dungeon on the map, so your favourite dungeons, or the ones I will suggest you in a second, which I believe are the best to farm. So go to any of these dungeons, once you are at the dungeons, go inside of them and farm away. Fully complete the dungeon, run it up to a certain point, it doesn't matter. From here guys, exit the dungeon. Press up on your d-pad, use that left shoulder exit dungeon option, exit the dungeon or go to your map, exit. As soon as you're outside of the dungeon, re-enter the dungeon. It resets the farm, so you can do this over and over again. Now if you're in a party, you don't need to do this, simply the party host, once you farm said dungeon, simply leaves the party via that social menu. He will then teleport to outside of the dungeon door. He then re-invites players back to his party, you re-enter the dungeon and you can farm it again. Just rinse and repeat these steps. And it really is that simple guys. Okay, so what about the dungeons? What dungeons are the best for you to try and get that sigil of or to farm the normal versions? Well, in my opinion guys, uh, well, we have quite a few here. But I'm going to give you five. Firstly, I'd check out Alder's Cave. This is located right here on the map. This, in my opinion, and I think it's probably being tested uh, by PC players, this will earn you the most XP per hour, upwards of 10 million plus, dependent on your build. The better the build, the faster you can run this, the more XP you'll get. But for me, it's roughly around 10 million, 10 to 15 million per hour, which is a chunk of XP. And you'll see a bit of this dungeon on screen now. Okay, so next up guys, we have the classic Iron Hold. Now the Iron Hold was hit pretty hard by a nerf by Blizzard. It took out a lot of elites, but still guys, the density of ads within here makes it perfect for solo players. Even grouped up players you can run it even quicker. Obviously, it's going to be more efficient in a group. But yes, this place is absolutely unreal. And you'll see in a clip of this on screen now. Next up guys, we have another classic, the Forgotten Ruins. This guys is kind of a linear dungeon, it's like one directional, you can just go one route and earn tons of XP. This is probably the more efficient if you're going to farm these over and over as a solo player, especially a Nightmare version because you can just run up to a certain point, leave the dungeon, re-enter the dungeon and just farm and farm away. It's a great, great dungeon, you can see where it's located on screen and you'll see a quick little snippet of this dungeon right now. Next up guys, we have Demon's Wake. Now this is a dungeon that's probably best done in a group, but can be done quite efficiently solo. Now the best part about this dungeon is it's the second area, the slay all enemies area. There's literally guys, hundreds, and I mean hundreds of ads here, quite a few elites too, and you can slay them out pretty fast. They'll chase you, it's pretty good. And when you take them down to about the last 15 or 20, you'll kill them and you'll have a group of elites spawn on top of you too which just adds to those XP gains. So yes, you're seeing a little bit of Demon's Wake right here.
Okay, so lastly, guys, we have a great co-op or group dungeon to farm. Now, this is a classic, by the way. It can be run solo, uh, but I definitely suggest you guys doing this in a party of at least three players because there's three different paths. One player takes each path. Each player brings back the item to progress said area and just farm away. So the dungeon is called the Champion's Demise. Again, another classic spot. I think this may have been hit by Blizzard, but either way, it's still an incredible dungeon you can farm. Again, you can do this solo also. It will just take you way longer. It's way more efficient in a group. But you got to remember, Nightmare version, Nightmare Farm version. You can't actually do this in a group. So yes, if you're basically playing in a party, and your team consists of players probably below a level 60 65 this will be a great dungeon for you to rank up earn that xp and that loot but yes guys there we have it the best farms for that xp for that loot within diablo 4 as of right now guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps add if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one